hello welcome back to my channel scrappy friends um i am today um sharing a layout that i created on 25th february for the hey little magpie cyber crop this was challenge number one it's a sketch by jackie which i just showed you there um i'm using two six by four pictures instead of the the square pictures on the sketch um, and i've collaged 12 different pictures onto those two uh, six by four so i'm starting by drawing a circle around the eight and a half inch circle um, from the circle templates from ramble fox and then getting these paints from vicky Bootin, um which came out with a print shop collection just spritzing them with lots of water to um, start them off get them nice and uh, runny so that they are creamy on the page um, and then I'm just filling in the whole of the circle so on the sketch it's a circle that comes over and around everything I decided to do a gold painted circle behind everything I actually end up not seeing a lot of this on the finished layout um, once it is dried I do a couple of circles of machine stitching around the outside just using the round brush there for some splatters and in a minute we will go back to the real time and me talking as I scrap. Thanks. <clears throat> what I was thinking of doing, and I might completely ruin it now, is draw another circle in with this Nouveau. Just like a rough circle. Um, I don't know how this is going to look, um, but let's give it a go. Just gonna make sure there's no end um, air in the end. Something like that. I might do another one. No, I'm not sure I like that. Right, so I'm gonna spread that out. So I don't know if you remember one of Sarah's Heart Eyes layouts where she just spread the Nouveau. I might be completely ruining this, I don't know. I just thought the big stark gold circle just gold on its own in the middle looks a bit stark I mean it is going to have it's got Nouveau all over my hands um, it is going to have some paper down the centre of it but I just wanted to break up the gold a little bit more I actually quite like that <laughs> right so I've got the Nouveau off my hands. It's these Lego pictures from the birds at Martin Muir is what's going on. I really need to stop piling things on top of the, on top of the trimmer because I'm going to need it. Let's get some papers out. Um, oh, knocked it. Straight you up. There we go. Right, I'm going to put that to the side a minute for that Nouveau to dry. I might put some another bit of Nouveau in that, just a different colour. Hmm. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm going to trim that down a bit though. I'm not going to do it that big. And then I need something for the scalloped edge or border punch. Thinking that as a contrast or the green. I'm going to go the green because we're out in nature. 
I'll do the green and then we've got this bit at the top so I can use off cuts of these and I need another colour you know me it's going to be yellow um, it's actually a circle so I might use one of these circles punch one of these instead right let's get these three papers out put the rest of this pad back I really need a better way to store the off cuts lay out back okay everything seems to be moving up my desk a bit sorry to move you about then just everything seems to have moved up my desk um okay <laughs> get that back out of the way so we're going to cut some of this down i am thinking I'm going to go about there. So I don't want it too huge. About there. I think I'm putting something else inside that. We'll come back to that. And then really wanted something on the back of there. <laughs> I'm going to border punch this. Or should we do my large scallop? No, we're going to border punch it. This one's an X cut punch. Looking at the ice cream man. I don't need to go out to the ice cream man because we went to the farm shop around the back of us last night and we got some Czech Farms ice cream which is delicious. So I've got honeycomb and salted caramel in the freezer. Two different, not like one flavour called that. Tub of honeycomb, tub of salted caramel. And they are amazing together if you have a scoop of each. They just, oh, they're just delicious. I'm really struggling with this lining up today on this punch. It's got like a recess so that you can really do it properly. I'm just really struggling with it. <laughs> Don't usually struggle like that with it. There we go, pop them in the paper bin. Off a you know decent amount for sticking it under. That all needs to go back in the paper pad. Okay, let's get this stuck on my strip. next challenge has just gone up I'm trying so what I'm doing is I started late so I wasn't here when the cyber crop started at 11 at 9 so I've done the 11 o'clock challenge and then whilst waiting for the 1 o'clock challenge going back to the 9 o'clock challenge which was 9am challenge which is this sketch Um, and the idea was I'd do this until the one o'clock one goes up and then go back come back to this after I've done that challenge I'm trying to put the sketch somewhere where it's 
not going to be in my way. <laughs> I'll stick it to my stand. There we go. Um, right, so that's those bits. I'm going to put a little bit of this here. I've actually got, I think I've got really old sample ticket punch. We have a look in the punches. I have. So the, the one EK success did for themselves has three size punches. And the one they did for stamping up has two. And I think these are slightly different sizes as well to the main EK one. So I might get that one eventually. I'm going to pop that there. I'm going to have a strip of this. To do that with a different punch. I have enough of them. I don't want... I know it's a... Decent sized piece on the sketch. But I'm thinking this one be big enough. And then we need a circle punch. I'm just going to do a one inch one. I'll just do a bit out one of these. Right, it's a bit crackly. Like that. And stick that cluster down. Really like this sketch that Jackie's done. On the sketch, it looks like it's square photos with a bit of a mat. Or actually, I think it's just a drop shadow for the photos. Oh, I did that the wrong way up then. Um, so yeah, so on the sketch, it's two square photos. So I've got um, two, oops, I'm not stuck that now. <laughs> um, two six by four photos, just, I think that's what I've got. I think I need something else inside that black. Now do I go with a black Nero? Or do I have a white one? I have these old liquid pills. Um, they don't dome as well as the Nouveau Drops do. Um, they're not really, they don't sell a flavor like the Nouveau Drops do. So I'm not gonna use them for that kind of thing. So I thought I'd use them for this sort of thing. You see, I knew it's gonna split out eventually. They always have a bit of air in them. Extra there, a bit of extra there. Okay. Look, I know that needs to dry, but I might just risk it and do the whole. Let's not stick my hand in it whilst it's wet. Should we see how that goes? <laughs> we know I'm going to stick my hand in it, don't we? <laughs> that is giving a shadow that's annoying. So I'm going to put a bit of tape on the bottom. No. Let's just tack it off and do something else with it. <laughs> okay, so I've got tape on this. We are going to go and just stick it. There we go. And we just don't knock the Nouveau, the pearls that's on the side. So yeah, I've got a few of these. Um, my sister-in-law, uh, Rebecca, was having a craft clear out and she's donated all of hers of these to me. We both used to have quite a few and then we both had quite a few Nouveau. 
um but yeah they don't flatten they don't self level like the nouveau do so look that's the little bit of pearl i did it's just a little peak um so whereas the nouveau self level so i'm going to save these for doing this drawing stuff and smidging through stencils and stuff okay now i've got my photos now and they cover most of that up don't they um i think because it covers a lot of that up i'm not going to map them i'm just gonna have them as they are but i am gonna raise them up that's the one i've cut in half from another video another layout even These are the two and a half inch sticks to pads and I love them. Um, okay, so saying about the photos, um, the photos are from Martin Mir, which is part of the Wetlands, is it Wetlands Trust? It's up, it's on the way to Preston, sort of not that quite far, far up but northwest it's north of us here where i am um and they had for half term last week i don't know how long they've been there or how long they're going to be there they've got this lego trail around it with um a thing for the children to the visiting to go and find all the lego um birds and there's like questions on the thing for their trail for finding the birds so they have to find the birds and answer the questions um, so it's something you like you know to engage the children at the, at the mirror um, whilst the parents are or grandparents primary caregivers um, are walking around the mirrors lots of like Dog owners just go around if they live in the local area, uh, members, and take the dogs and just go for a walk around the dogs. Um, you know, there's lots. There was quite a lot of families there, lots of like older parents, grandparents there with their children. It was, you know, it's really lovely. It's quite busy. Um, the restaurant was manic, really busy. Um, took 15, 20 minutes for missing just to get me a cup of tea. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was really busy. Um, okay, so... Uh, I put that down in some Nouveau and I've now got black Nouveau everywhere. Um, well, more or less to the sketch, I think. I think that is looking, you know, good to the sketch. Um, I don't know else I want to do I may pop some embellishments on let me have a look through let's get this paper out of the way first of all I'm still here I'm just putting the paper right <laughs> okay oh missed a bit these are tiny tall Um, it was Lego Trail, so I suppose that's my title, Lego. There isn't on the sketch a spot where Jackie's done journaling, so I'm not sure I'm going to put that because I do need to explain where it is. So you shall see these pictures of birds with, made out of Lego. <laughs> um, so, okay, let's have a look. I need to adjust. Call it Lego. Is there any? pun about birds with bricks um 
could do bricking it, um, which is slang for being anxious or frightened, which I wasn't, so bricking it's probably not right. Um, what else could it do? Um, I'm going to have a think about the title and come back. Okay, no, no inspiration. Um, just let go, as in let's go. So, that's basically what we're going for. <laughs> oh, right, so. Not a fan of alphabets. Which are all like different colours. But I must say I do like this one because it's not just different colours, it's different shapes, so it doesn't look odd. <laughs> I know what I mean. Um sorry, just moving the next challenge out of the way. Um so yeah. So we're going to have that as a title, and then we need some journaling somewhere. Probably just going to do a little bit here, I think. Let's do that. Where's the pencil gone? There. It's not going to be loads. And apparently, there was 14 of these Legos. Lego statues, sculptures, birds, whatever you want to call them. I found 12, so I'm wondering if the other two are in the section that was closed because of bird flu. Or on the section that's on the way to beavers because we didn't do that, we didn't go around and see the beavers or otters I think it's otters isn't it, it's beavers at um, Seal Sanctuary in Cornwall yeah um, so yeah we didn't walk around to the beav to the otters and there's a bit that's closed, I also didn't, we didn't do the wild walk, the wild trail which is a bit of an adventure playground bit for kids so the ones we haven't got, the two we haven't got are probably in that section. Um, so, journaling. And I'm just going quite well, right? So, around the site were 14 Lego bird sculptures. We found 12. And of course, had to take pictures. Um, uh, so Part of a trail for kids to spot and the biggest kid of all so it's going to be a companion page to another layout talking about going to Martin Mir. Um with Mr Ding last week so that's why I've not put any details as to where it was I love like, I love these black and white chipboard pieces I just haven't used any they're, they're great but they're just so bulky and I know that they probably can be coloured because you know the black and white chipboard Um. Just double checking, there's nothing else. 
I want to add. I feel something needs something here because I've got this chipboard down here. So, I actually haven't used chipboard stickers yet. Oh, I have I've used one. See, it's not a water bird. <laughs> so that's no good. Let's have a look. I'm hoping that's drags have stuck me on it. <laughs> Add that there to that cluster, I like that. We've got all these little circular hearts that I could do for confetti as well. Nope. Nope. Stick them anywhere where they'll fit. Standard Vicky Booting filling up a sheet of stickies with random things that you can put in your layout. Which is such a fab thing that she does. Okay. Um, I might do some Gold Nouveau. Some. bigger blobs <laughs> in these areas um, see how that's like oh, flipping deck it was leveling until I stuck my finger in it oh, what an idiot absolute mess of that now Have this huge, huge blob. It's going to take forever to dry because I'm stuffed. Okay. There we go. I'm going to say that's done. We're going to wait three days for that huge blob to dry. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.